Hello and welcome to the show. We start this week's Forest episode with a charred grilled and the notoriously derpy AIs at Long Beach. I've seen many cars stuck on the roundabout. They don't normally go for a roll, but uh, yeah, BMW SUV not having the greatest of time. There were three other cars stuck. The, the skylines just decided to do a bit of grass cutting. Yeah. Turns out the the roundabouts at Long Beach can be uh, rather dangerous even for driver tars. Uh, Ludo Retro on Horizon 3 has carried too much speed, drives through someone's garden before uh, landing on top of a Fiat. Lamborghini Sesto Elemento and a Fiat 500 will make for an interesting combination of cars, perhaps not one planted on top of the other, however. It's uh, not the greatest of parking spots. Uh, Broken Light MG also on Horizon <laughs> He absolutely murders a poor driver tar in an aerial nomad. The, uh, basically, the aerial doesn't really care too much about it. He's just, you know, carrying off on his merry way. That was a huge, huge hit. A Mantis on GTA 5 is uh, trying to take a shortcut. Doesn't quite get the uh, positioning right. Clips in a pillar uh, before having his blister wedged in between two. Uh, sort of boards, and that's not going to be getting out of there anytime soon. Yeah, that's a uh, that's a rather wedged car. We have a uh, Reese on GTA 5. This is me and Reese actually testing out a uh, Rocket Voltic race that we did ages ago. As we're coming up towards the to cross the finish line, I almost eat fence, fire my rocket at the perfect moment to spin Reese's car around. <laughs> um, yeah, Reese was the best pleased with that uh, <laughs> slightly. Slightly inadvertent cheeky tactic from me, but there we go. Carfan 93 on a GTA 5. He tried to get away from the police, sunk his tank in a river, but never fear, for an AI Jeep is to the risk you, kind of. Uh, I think he launched his car of a dead body, flipped the Jeep into the stream, and... Uh, yeah, it was an attempt. I will I will give him that much. Ray loves cars on a GTA 4 is walking or running out of a petrol station when a scooter gets flung at him for no good reason. Scooter managed to nudge two cars into oncoming traffic as well. It's a dangerous, dangerous scooter. Regal 7 on Burnout Paradise driving via Hawker. Coming up towards a jump. Doesn't quite get the uh, lower lands it and then finds a car immediately ahead of him. Never fear though, as uh, we have an uh, impressive amount of front flips before landing and being perfectly carry onable. Sure. Uh, Flux on uh, Dirt Rally has uh, got, got into a little bit of trouble. The car got quite twitchy on him. Couldn't quite keep it out of the side post. Peugeot goes for a couple of tumbles before the uh, wing is strong enough. I mean, it's a mighty wing. You know, let's not forget it is a mighty, mighty wing on the Peugeot, but it is strong enough to kind of always sort of spin the car, flip the car around back on that wing. Look at that. Look at that for some strength in the back of that car. We'll eventually get it out of the ditch. Lost some time, certainly, but it is still going. Skylord Shadow on Ghost Recon Wildlands is in the depths of the jungle. When the armoured vehicle, well, doesn't quite have the steering he might have expected. And uh, trees, well, they prove a little bit too much of a tall order for the armoured vehicle to deal with. We've talked about the foliage, I've said many times about the horrible foliage in GTA 5. Apparently it's just as bad there. Tonza on Need for Speed Underground 2 at a notorious circuit. I remember this track from many, many angry races. However, it is once more the Ford Focuses that are doing cheeky tactics. <laughs> I don't know what it is about the Focus. I've seen this glitch submitted twice in this series. It's both times been Focuses that just launch the Ford. This time the Focus launches himself forward into a wall and doesn't get an advantage, but there we go. Uh, a dogger on Wreckfest. Uh, first of all, there is an AI that exits stage left. Don't really know what happened to him, but that got unhappy and just fired off the track. When the uh, player goes to turn in, gets a little bit too much oversteer, and uh, that is, well, it starts off by spinning once, then gets collected by the rest of the field. Have to hold on pretty tight, I would imagine, to stay on the lawnmower as it is uh, spinning around over there. Uh, Borksy on Wreckfest as well, driving the figure eight circuit. Gets a little bit more airtime than the vehicle ahead, and then the two muscle cars decide to have some uh, have some fun. Yeah, they're, they're <laughs> very much... That's some crash welding and a half right there. <laughs> very much done together. Eventually the game figures it out, though, and will uh, <laughs> release the two vehicles. Yeah, not the uh, not the greatest. Knight's Viper finally on a Just Cause 2 is uh, taking out an enemy base when a helicopter decides to come and interfere. The problem is the helicopter manages to fly himself into some trees and it turns out that to attack helicopters and trees, well, don't really go too well together. He's too busy trying to shoot at the player to really uh, well, fly the helicopter properly amongst all of the foliage. We 
saw them catch an armoured car, and uh, they are doing their best to try and capture the helicopter. It briefly gets free and then uh, manages to tip back, and that is going to be claimed by the uh, gods of the forest, by the looks of it. Somewhere up there, <laughs> there it is, the helicopter has ended up upside down. Impressively, not exploded. Somehow, in all of that, and the guy actually survived the crash landing as well. I'm not going to survive Rico, but uh, survived the crash landing as well. That, though, is going to be it for this episode. As ever, if you have clips you'd like to submit to this series, you can via our forums. Be a link in the description. At the very top of the page is the Fowler's Clip Submission section, and there you can find all of the rules and how to submit them. However, that's going to be it from me. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.